The fact that you've been spared any of these little broadcasts for the last three months is a measure of how effectively the Purdue community has pulled together to manage through the COVID pandemic. Through it all, we've been as open and near normal as any campus even close to our size. So yet again, thank you for the adjustments and great cooperation that made this possible. We're still testing and tracing and watching every day, but there's every reason to believe that the current steady decline in cases and the absence of any severe ones will continue. Like people everywhere and organizations of all kinds, we've learned a lot this last year about alternative ways of getting our jobs done, what works well and what doesn't. Every day brings new accounts about how the world of work will be permanently changed by what's been learned and by the technological advances that necessity has spurred. While some activities clearly need to move back to their previous operating modes, in-person instruction being the most obvious example, many others are candidates for new thinking and new arrangements. For instance, we make most of our student services available only during banker's hours, 8 to 5. Using remote work to extend those hours might offer much more convenience to both student users and some of those staff members serving them. For the last year, on any given day, well over half of all our office space has sat empty. Today, large buildings like Schliemann, Young, and Cranert are more than 90% unoccupied. But thanks to you and your co-workers, Purdue has operated pretty well anyway. Right now is the time to consider what we've learned, keeping our new arrangements where they work as well or better, and adapting them in part hybrid fashion where that looks best. We need everyone's input to get this right. The next couple months, please share your thoughts about two questions. First, how much work from home can our particular unit blend with old-fashioned in-office work and get the job done as well or better than before? And second, if it's consistent with the effective operation of our part of Purdue, what mix of home and office would be best for me and for my family where that applies? This year's performance review sessions provide one good opportunity to hear from you on these issues. The COVID-19 pandemic will leave deep, lasting marks on our society and on us all. Many are tragic. But others, as they change the way we communicate, protect our health, shop, work, can bring new flexibility and efficiency to our jobs at Purdue and our life away from work. Let's all pitch in to figure out, as Boilermakers always do, the best way to tackle the problem. No, make that the opportunity.